Hey guys, uh, it's Tony here at uh, MacMan Alternators again. Uh, just got through doing a video on some LS swap uh, tutorial kind of thing, uh, custom applications and whatnot, and uh, it just hit me that along with the LS thing that I get are people wanting to, uh, well not people, um, the race car people. Um, they're, they're wanting to do the 14 volt battery or the 16 volt battery instead of the regular 12. 12 is what everybody runs. It works, tried and true, no big deal. The 14 volt battery, we've done those in the past and it just, um, it just, uh, it works, but it doesn't work for us. A 14 volt battery, what people don't realize is if you purchase a 14 volt battery, that means you're going to need to charge that thing just over 16 volts. So that means cold, it'll probably start up around 16 and a half volts would be optimal. And then it would probably settle to 16 or so, 16, one, two, three. Not many, not many vehicles like that. Uh, you can get away with it. It's being done right now as we speak somewhere. Um, that's fine. Uh, if it's working for you, more power to you. That, that's great. But that, that's, that's where the disconnect comes is because they're like, man, I just need 14 volts. So I'm just going to go buy a 14 volt battery. Well, you have to have an alternator that will charge that. So you would have to have one of these externally regulated. So that's another electronic device that could probably fail. In a race car environment and it's just one other thing to add to the puzzle so then you have um, you know well I'll just get a 16 volt battery and the 16 volt battery that you're gonna you're gonna need to be in the 19s on that 19 one two three um, that's a that's a beast right there that's I don't know of any applications I've ever used uh, 16 volts so the reasoning for that is they think as long as they can just have the alternator cranking out 12 volts, they'll start with 16 or 14 and it'll just kind of maintain that, which is kind of true, but you know, it, it, it's almost like your car blowing up near the finish line and it pushing you faster across so you get a better time. It worked, but it, it's in the long run, it's, it's just not the right thing to do. And I'll tell you why. The 14, I'll just go ahead and eliminate the 16 right off the bat. Um, 16 volt battery, that battery in a racing environment is meant to be charged up either in or outside the vehicle through some other means of charging. So you charge that battery up, you get it to, you know, where it rests around 16.5, 6, 7, and you dump it in the car you crank the car up, you get it to the line, you run, and then by the end of the run, you've probably dropped maybe two or three volts, maybe, maybe not that. Um, usually those will hold a little better, depending on your electronics, obviously. But that's what it is. It's made to be charged and ran, and there's not even an alternator on the engine. Like There's not. I mean, it's not a street car. It's a race car. Um, so there's no... It, the 16 volt battery is a substitute for an alternator. It's not a complement. It's meant to be a standalone unit. You hook it up, you charge it somewhere else, put it in the car, use it, recharge it, and keep doing it that way. That's 16 volt, dead nuts, that's, that's it, it's done, it's over. Your 14 volts, that's where, uh, that's, that's the more common one. So again, 14 volt, you need to charge it in the mid 16s, low to mid 16s. So that means your whole car has got to run at 16 volts. Everything, um, your 60, it's going to run 16 volts on a 12 volt system. Uh, so, uh, some can handle it, most can't. Um, it's just, it's not a good idea to constantly. You can you can hit that every now and then, you know, you know, with a 12 volt, but you can't maintain that. And yes, I know your friend, buddy, cousin, uncle did it. I know he's doing it right now. But in our opinion, the 14 volt battery is the same way. 
you charge it up, you use it, and then you recharge it somewhere else outside the vehicle. If you put a 14 volt battery in your vehicle with a 12 volt charger, charger, a 12 volt alternator, it's, it's gonna charge, but it, the, the, the battery is just not gonna function the way it's supposed to. It may shorten its life, which it probably will because you have to have more volts charging it to use it. So you're really just, you're, you turn your alternator into a maintainer, like a battery tender, and you're kind of defeating the purpose of the whole thing. So, um, you know, there's diminishing returns on it. You get the placebo effect sometimes of, you know, hey, uh, if you have like a, a really weak alternator and you put a, like a factory junkyard alternator and you put a 14 volt battery in there, uh, you know, it's just gonna maintain it maybe a little better, kinda, sorta, not really. Um, but if you have an alternator that can keep up with a 14 volt, even though it only charges at 14.7, it'll work. But you could do the same thing with a 12 volt battery. And how much is a 14 volt battery? How much is a 16 volt battery? So, yeah, there's, you know, some people you can't change their minds on things. Um, you know, if it works for them, that's great. That, that's all you can ask for. Um, you, you do it that way, and if you're happy, you're, you can justify everything, that's, that's fine. But if you, if you call us asking for a um, alternator that will charge a 14 volt battery, 99.9999% uh, will probably tell you no because it's just not the right tool for the job. You can get the same thing done with a 12 volt battery and you know, where are you gonna find a, a 14 volt battery? Say that yours goes bad. You can't just really go down to the parts store and get one. Everybody has 12 volt batteries. Um, we did a lot of that with drag week stuff where they run a 14 or a 16 volt battery and then they have a problem and then and then uh, you can't even really jump a car off with a 16 volt battery versus a 12. So you kind of, you know, you just open up a can of worms that doesn't need to be eaten. So, um, but again, this was just some leftover LS stuff, uh, swap stuff I was talking about. It looks a lot better than me just talking on a camera with a white background. So this is at least some cool stuff to look at. But, uh, but yeah, for race car guys, let's, let's just stick with 12 volts. Uh, we'll charge it at 14 and a half or so. Uh, we'll make it a one wire turn on and you know, it, you won't have to worry about, we'll put the right size pulley on it. It'll charge good, you know, 200, 170, 250 amp. Um, we can get something small that fits in there. Um, you know, it can be done. It can be done on 12 volts. And it should be done on 12 volts because it's super simple if you have the right equipment for the job. I would rather have a absolutely efficient 12 volt system versus a 14 volt system that kind of works ish. So I know boring video, no stuff or whatever. I'll try to put some stuff up in the um, you know corners of the screen, whatever you know the normal YouTube guy stuff does. Um, and uh, you know just kind of show like charge rates and you know specifications and things like that so again um, you know it's not that we don't want to sell you an alternator that charges 14 volts or will charge a 14 volt battery it's just you don't need it and uh, you know I spend extra money if you don't need it just spend the money on the right parts that perform right and pretty easy to work with so yeah thanks guys